What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at a Perseverance photo. It's relatively recent. It's from Sal 293. Now, as always, we've come to know these photos as nothing but covered up, manipulated, and censored. This one's no different. Many times when I bring these things out, people ask, why don't these rovers go over there and take a look at them? You can bet that they have. Whether it's a one item, many items, doesn't matter. They've looked at it. Trust me. Again, this one's no different. Let's just jump right into it because I think you're going to find this pretty fascinating. Here it is right here. You can see Mars Perseverance, Sol 293, front left hazard avoidance camera or the HazCam. And you can see it is PNG. Just click right over here in the download button and you can grab that. And you can see right here at the bottom of the photo, it says NASA's Mars Perseverance rover acquired this image of the area in front of it using its onboard front HazCam. This image was acquired on December 16th. So what are we talking, seven days ago? Uh, at the local mean solar time of 14.17 or 2.17 in the afternoon, right? Image credit goes to NASA, JPL, and Caltech. And you can see the photo right here. And you can see the like what looks like a line of rocks. Now, I've done this area. Remember I said it looked like a roadway. And some of you said maybe it's a uh, dried up riverbed, which is a very good possibility as well. But we're going to have a closer look at that because I believe there's more to it than just these line of rocks or these small outcroppings, right? So let's get into this and have a better look. You can see it right here. When I looked at this right off the bat, it said false coloring. Uh, you can see this brightness. It'll probably block out anything that's in the background, but we don't care about that. We're going to have a look at these rocks here. Just some of these right here where it looks like this piece. It looks like it has like a little entranceway. You see that? Another one right here. And this one here kind of goes up like a, like a horseshoe and back down. There's another one on the side of it right here. You can see that. But what most people don't see is everything down here. What is down there, folks? Is there anything in there at all? And you're going to see other weird looking pieces, folks, that just don't make sense. Like we could slide it over to here. You can see this area right here. The lines that are in there, folks. Oh my God. There's tons of it. Look at how this rock does this. Kind of goes down and you can see it drop. No, it does not. It continues on. Keep an eye on these other, what look like small rocks, or maybe shadows of rocks. Keep an eye on those too. Because they become something totally different. And I mean totally different. Uh, we have other pieces like this. What could that possibly be? This to me, right off the bat, is intelligently made. Don't do a thing to the photo, folks. Right here. Check that out. See that? That alone screams intelligently made. Let's have a closer look. Check out the lines, folks. They're not just rocks. Look at it. Look at the way they're doing this. Kind of comes down, has this rounded corner, has something else doing this. What well, looks like something round. Let's just back up a little bit and let's get some of the color off, make it a little bit brighter and have a closer look. I don't see this at all as natural. Like this, like I said, it looks like it's nice and smooth going down like that. Looks like it has something doing this. Now keep in mind, this is blurry, so you're not gonna see the details like we would like to see them, right? Let's slide it back over here. Look at it, we got one, two pieces right there. Let me just back up, I wanna show you something. Just to give you guys an idea how crazy this is. I'm going to get the whole picture here in view. Let's just do this. In fact, we'll just back it out this way. Okay. Now you see this ridge. Well, it looks like a line of rocks and I don't believe that there are a line of rocks. I believe there's something much more to it, but you can see it right here doing this. You can see going like this, coming across, going behind the tool head, obviously going like this here. And it looks like it's right at the bottom. Is that true? Let's black and white this and fully enhance it, and let's see what's really in here. Oh, there's a lot more in here, folks. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. Just bringing this stuff out, okay? We're going to start from left and go to right. Some of this is really distorted because you can see this. Why is there so much detail, folks, here on the bottom? Look at the rocks. Everything's good. All of a sudden, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Why? Because there's more to these than what they're letting on to be. Okay, and I believe this is fake, this guy. I believe there's much more behind that, but there's no way to vet that. So let's get into this. 
Notice how we have a line right here, and you can see it. Kind of real faint, but it's doing this. And that's what I notice, folks. I'm saying, what is going on here? So again, let's do the full enhancement, black and white it. Okay, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but this is where you start to see more of it. Okay, here, and those other objects are still here. This has been really covered up. This is why it looks like a bunch of crap and nothing more. But check this out. There's something right here. What looks like line doing this. These other small objects all in this circle here, like I just showed. Look at that. Now, are they in the original? Let's have a look. They are. I can see it right here. See the other little lines? You can see other pieces here. Check that out. And they have height as well. So these are still here. And again, look at the openings in these things, guys. I mean, what is that? That's really, really funky. If we do this and go back to this, check that out. To me, that off the right of the bat, between, like I said, this one, this one, and especially the shape of this one in the back, clearly that's not natural. Okay, slide it over. Check this piece out. This piece here. Looks like something leaning up against a rock. And you can see it just barely. It's like right over in here. See that? I mean, that thing is hard to see. What you have is this piece, and you have it on top of this piece, or overlapping that piece. I don't know what to make of it, folks. I have no clue what this stuff could be. And it's not far from the rover, so I don't think they're very big objects, whatever they are, right? There's something right here. It looks like one of these right here looks like it's also right here. See it? Almost has that weird thing like that there. Not a whole lot in here. We can see that. But look closely right in here. Look at the lines in there. Check that out. We got these pieces right here. One, two, three. The one in the middle, look at the little openings and the design. That's right, I said design. That's there. Got this piece here. I'm not sure what to make of that. Right there. But you can see the lines in here running like this here. And look at the little pieces here. One there. Some in there. See that? Doesn't look too natural to me. You can also see another line right here, very faint. And it kind of goes into this other area. But you can see other pieces here. Like that. Okay. Jump on the other side of this. This is where it gets really interesting. Nothing but a couple of rocks, right? Well, first of all, these are not rocks. We know that. Especially this part. No way is that a rock. Or a series of rocks. Or outcropping. Just that alone. Forget about enhancing anything. In fact, why don't we just do this? Why don't we just brighten this up? Let's bring up the exposure. I don't care what it does to the sky. I want to see what it does here. Look at that, folks. Look at this thing. Are you serious? Folks, look at the straight lines. Look at the pieces in this. Okay. Now, full enhancement. Folks, check this out. Remember I told you to keep an eye on a couple of these little holes here? Like here. This is, this is like a black and white type thing, but that's okay. The real stuff is right here, the actual white, like this piece right here. Notice this right here. Watch this. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to take the line back off. Notice how you can see it's clear right here, pretty decent. But here... And here, you can see a line going across. That's manipulation. You know what we're going to see? Just this piece right here. Watch this. It's very, very faint. You can see it right here. And just this little piece. That's all you're seeing. That's it. Bring it way down, all, the, all of the brightness. And that's what you see, folks. Check that out. But you can see the line. That's what's funny. You can see the line where they went like this. There's an object that's white or lighter in color sitting under this manipulation. That's what we did to stop bringing this stuff out. 
notice when I started to bring this piece out, you can start to see the bottom line start to come out of it. See it? There's one here. See the upper one going doing like this. And then there you go. This is pretty cool. Right here. You can see this, what looks like this round piece, at least it appears to be round. And you can see this background going like this behind it and coming around. And then it stops. See that? It's right there. It's still there. Coming up. Keep in mind, folks, I also shop in this too a little bit. So that's why you can see it just a hair bit better. But check that out. Here. That sure in heck don't look natural. But there it is. Like I said, I said to keep an eye on this stuff. This one right here. Is that there? Hmm. Sure is. It's right there. And again, this other piece here. This one right here. You can see that actually. It's pretty funny. I'll go back and forth with this. Just make it a little bit lighter. And here's the original. Oh, there's much, much more to this. See the white under this? Kind of like gray and stuff like that. Yeah, this is objects under this, folks. This is not rocks at all. Look at that. Is that crazy or what? Look at this right here. Actually, it looks like it's got some thickness to it. See right there? Went down, goes like this. See that? What is that? Look at these objects. What are they? I'm starting to see this a little bit better. Folks, when I see this stuff, no way, no how. See, suddenly this whole area takes on a whole different look because there's more to it. That to me, again, this right here, these are items underneath this manipulation. That's what we're seeing. We're seeing little bits and pieces of it. Look at these things. Looks like some kind of square opening of some sort. Same thing with this one. It's got this weird look to it. Actually does this. Goes like this. Not sure what to make of that thing. I pointed out this earlier. Okay. This right here. I'm not sure what the heck is, that is. But are these two pieces right here actually in there? They are. But watch how tough they are to see. They're there. You can see it. You can actually see the square. Well, it looks like a square opening right there. Check this one out. Same thing. What you're not seeing is the outside of these pieces. Why? Because it's hidden. I mean, just these alone. What is that? What kind of rock is that sticking out of the ground? This has got a bunch of stuff sticking out right here. Not sure what to make of that. But check that out. We can look at these pieces, folks. Are they in the photo? Absolutely. Right there. Like I said, the stuff is in the photo, but there's so much more in here. And if they can do anything they can to hide what's really in the photo, by God, they're going to do it. Yeah. And as we go along, started bringing this out more and more. And there you go. Like I said, I don't have to do anything. Just, just this piece right here and forget about the rest. Just by looking at it, you go, okay, clearly that doesn't look like a rock I'd see in my backyard or going mountain climbing. Again, folks, pause it right here. Have a look. I'm going to back it out here just a little bit more. I'll leave it just like that. As always, guys, you be the judge. And there you go. Folks, what are we looking at here, right? We don't have to beat a dead horse. We already know they manipulate obfuscate, sensor, whatever else they want to throw into the into the mix, right? So what I'm seeing, in my opinion, mechanical parts laying all over the place. They don't look very big, folks. I'll be honest with you. They're probably like this big. You've seen the tool head, okay? And that thing's just feet away from it. It's not like it's 100 miles away. It's literally feet away from it. Even if we were to say, mm, throw a number, 10 feet, 3 meters, okay? It's not that far away. So these things are not very big. What are they? It looks mechanical to me. Is it possible that there was little beings on the planet and these are little houses blown to pieces? Of course, we're getting highly speculative, right? So we don't know. But 
Whatever that is, it is not natural, and it sure in heck to me is not rocks. As always, you guys be the judge. Drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share it as always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, we are going to have a live hangout on Friday, Christmas Eve. It'll start at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Probably not going to go that long, but I want to share a little bit of time with you guys before we actually go on our holidays. So if you can, join me. Love to have you there. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.